What's going on, guys? So, thunderstorms last night, big time. I mean, and then yesterday, most of the day. And then the lawns are wet. So, what we're gonna be doing, and again, this is my quiet lawns. You hear how quiet it is? Let me get this mower out. The goal is to mow these two lawns. I'm gonna mulch them. And the only reason I'm mulching these lawns is because this is my first time using this mower on wet grass and this low. So I wanna see how well the mower performs. This one is Bermuda grass. And I think I have it at two inches, but I'll double check. And then this one is torpedo grass. And I also have this one at two inches, probably two and a half. But we're gonna begin with the Bermuda. And I'm using the same battery that I've used on the video that I shot yesterday. And I have three cells. So on the video yesterday, I only used one cell. According to Toro, you can mow 0.4 acres with this, uh, with one battery. And I have two. So let's see, uh, let's see what it does, All right? So at this point, I decided to bring the mower down to one inch, which as you can see in a few minutes, was a terrible idea because I was taking off too much in these conditions. And then the location wasn't even as far as flat over by the mailbox. So in a few minutes, you'll see where I kind of sort of stalled just a little bit, but it didn't really uh, do any damage to the turf right there. See, right there, I got stuck just a little bit. So I decided to come up just a little bit and try it out here. But at the end of the day, it was too low. So let's, uh, let's bring it up. I think I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. All right guys, so while I'm bringing up the uh, height on this mower, I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to my shirt. And um, it's made by a company called Finprint. And the link is in the video description. And the fabric that I'm using on my shirts are the uh, liquid titanium, which is the lightest fabric that they have. It's super comfortable and uh, it's UV blocking. So if you want any more information, guys, just uh, go into the uh, video description and you'll see a link. And uh, go check them out. 
I will be making a review video within the next couple of months because like anything else guys you know I like to work the stuff beat it up use it under different conditions and then tell you guys my honest opinion of what I think okay another thing that I'm also uh, testing out is the new Kujo boots which I'm wearing in this video so again give me some time to wear the boots on the different conditions try them out and then I can give you my honest opinion on the product I'm not one to uh, just go out and say this is the best thing since sliced bread even though I haven't had a chance to try it out for a period of time okay so stay tuned for those So as you can tell guys, this mower is extremely quiet. It is currently, I want to say about 7.05, probably 7.10, because I got to the property at 7 o'clock and I did this on purpose because I wanted to see how quiet um, the mower was in this particular uh, subdivision. I usually get here about 7.45ish and I have no issues making noise because these are I guess older clients and the neighborhood uh, have older residents so they don't mind when I come at a certain time I guess you know this, this particular area but I wanted to come extremely earlier just to see the noise level but as you can tell even though I'm mowing you can hear the birds now it might sound a little bit louder than what it really is and that's because it is so freaking quiet <laughs> you know this is something else but yeah I'm extremely uh, comfortable with this mower I just have to bring up the handles just a little bit higher uh, and that's one thing that I well, that's one of the cons of this mower that I found is that once you set it, um, you'll actually have to loosen the bolt uh, if you have several people utilizing this mower, you know, to bring it up and down to your uh, comfortable mowing level. So, this one for test purposes, I'm the only one using it. But I will bring it up just a little bit more because uh, right now it's a little bit low for my height. But other than that, it's, it is extremely uh, comfortable. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the mow. And the speed is controlled by your handle. You know, if you want it to go faster, all you have to do is squeeze it tighter. And I'm kind of going as fast as I, as I can just to see how fast it'll mow but you can easily uh, make it go slower Let's look and see what under the deck looks like. I want to know just like you guys.
All right. This is under the deck. Not a lot. Pretty good, right? All right. So, I'm going to clip this off right here. And then I'll get rid of it in a few minutes. Now, guys, remember, when you go under the deck or one of these battery-powered mowers, don't do like what I just did. I didn't um, take the battery out. Okay, safety first. All right, so let's see how many cells we use. Remember, we started at three. Yep, at two. Okay, so we use, on average, just to use one cell. And the video from yesterday, which was small yard as well, the front yard and part of the side, we only use one cell. So now we're gonna hit this one up and see how many cells we use. You know what? Nah, this is a good enough video. Um, that one is a little bit more complicated, so we're not gonna mess with that. And uh, I'll make another video on that one, okay? So for now, this is the Toro commercial 60 volt uh, battery powered lawnmower and we use one cell to mow this front yard. Do you guys want to see me trim it up? Why not? And then I can move to the other one, right? All right, so I'm gonna do the uh, trimming POV style, okay? Because you guys love to see the POV trimming. <laughs> All right. This is a Husqvarna 520 ILX, by the way.
and that's it now the pine straw once it's uh, dry then I'll spray in there and uh, maintain this at I think I mowed at 1.75 inches all right guys hope you enjoy this one have a blessed one see you on the next one pop smoke peace